the MongoDB is already installed uh, in an EC2 instance, which is already uh, installed and configured. So you can uh, follow les lesson number 18 for more details. So why, why this uh, lesson is required is it is required to evaluate the performance of a query uh, when it is running in a collection. For this particular demo, a collection with 25 documents will be created and uh, we will see if an index is created, how is the uh, plan looks like uh, using the Mongo shell or the compass. And uh, what's the explanation? The explanation is uh, if you are not using the index, the query has to scan the entire collection. In our case, it is just 25 documents, but consider a collection with hundred thousands of uh, documents. And in case you need to just uh, uh, find out few uh, uh, documents which are required and in that case the the query has to to scan the entire collection so to avoid the uh, uh, scanning of the entire collection what we need to do is on the required field we will create an index and uh, when uh, we try to get the data based on uh, filtered on a particular uh, field uh, then using the index then the data will be fast so it is something like in our case with the 25 documents if i have to select uh, uh, just the five uh, documents and if an index is present then the uh, the uh, query will just uh, uh, find out the five index entries and five documents will be returned if an index is not present then it has to scan 25 documents and then it is going to return so without the index on a relevant uh, field the uh, the query cost is going to be higher so what we will do is we will uh, log in now so you can follow how to install mongodb on, on on a linux system and from there you can you can configure so all the details are mentioned in lesson number 18 so what we are going to do is uh, I'm going to log in to uh, Mongo shell. So it is the command Mongo hyphen hyphen port. This is the default port. Authentication method is uh, using the database, uh, the default admin database and the username is admin and uh, and the password way. So it is I'll just enter the password. I hope this is correct. Yes. If I just show DBS it should return the databases okay this is return now what i will do is uh, first let me clean up uh, the already available uh, document which is there i don't want to use it again so we will drop it it is dropped yes and just to follow this, what we are going to do is uh, we'll go ahead and create the uh, collection with the 25 documents. So I'll uh, just copy and paste the entire content. Let me pick the details from here. Or let's pick it up from here. You need a subscription just to uh, use this. Copy and just paste it over here. Now it has created the 25 uh, uh, documents in the collection whose name is uh, inventory. The next step, what we will do is just to cross verify that everything is available. Since this is a small collection with just 25 documents, I should be able to display all the data at one go. So 20 uh, document, it is going to display on uh, on the, the prompt. And now you can see there are 25 documents which are uh, being displayed.
the next thing which we are going to do is uh, using the shell i just wanted to find out the inventory uh, collection where the quantity is quantity is the field name uh, so you can see uh, uh, we have item we have type and we have quantity so we are putting the filter on quantity field what we are saying is uh, go to the inventory uh, collection and on the quantity field the last field is quantity where the value is 1 to 25 uh, greater than 1 and less than 5 we wanted to find out the details so we have five entries over here when we will see the uh, the explain plan so if we see the explain plan it will some look something like this <clears throat> excuse me so i have executed the explain plan uh, so how you have to do is db.inventory.find so till here it is the uh, statement and then we will see dot explain and then execution stats so what it is going to do uh, over here is uh, the the first thing which you have to look at is winning plan stage is uh, call scan and uh, then you will see uh, n return it is number of uh, the documents returned is uh, 5 and total documents examined is 25 that means it has to to full scan the entire collection which is having the uh, 25 documents only and execution stage it is uh, uh, the collection scan that means it is going to scan the entire collection that is that means it is going to be very expensive as it is not having any index so what it has done is uh, docs examined is 25 and uh, what it has uh, find out is just five uh, relevant documents the same information we can find out through the compass also so i'm here in the uh, compass so what i will do is this is this is our case quantity uh, less than one uh, so sorry greater than one and less than five and if we just say again let me take it out and put it again in the options if i say explain it is going to show you in the uh, over here in the visual tree or you can go through the raw json so whatever you want you can find it so it is it is the same thing which is available in the gui format so stages collection scan that means it is going to uh, go through the entire collection it is just less than five greater than one and uh, number of uh, uh, collection uh, the number of uh, documents returned are five and that, that's how it looks like in the raw json format the same information is available it is called a uh, scan that you have to see which says that it has to go through the entire uh, uh, collection the next part of it what we will do is uh, now we will create an index and uh, using the index we will see how the data is retrieved so let's create the index so what we are saying is db.inventory.createIndex where we are creating we are creating the index on the quantity field it is created and the next thing which we will do is the same statement we will fire the explain statement when the index is being created and now we will observe the difference uh, the there is the statement and then we are saying dot explain execution stats that's we are trying to find out and the first thing which we will find out is uh, stage earlier it was call scan now it is index scan this is the important part which will uh, find it out like whether it is going for the full index scan or uh, or the complete uh, uh, scan of the uh, the uh, the collection 
and the in the execution stats you will find out total keys examined it is just five keys examined and uh, total documents examined five that means it has uh, gone through the the index and it has just find five five relevant information in five relevant uh, documents that is what uh, is required and it has returned five uh, uh, re output as well that means five uh, documents has been uh, retrieved that is what it is required the stage is uh, ix scan so this is something which is required to find out the complete detail so that proves like uh, when you are using an index it is not going to be expensive uh, the cost is going to be relatively lesser depending upon the the amount of the data which is available now what we will do is the same information we can find it out now using the compass as well let's reset and okay i should have put it over here and let's put it over here explain okay so you can see the detail over here now test.inventory this is the namespace that means so uh, this is the uh, the collection this is the DB name and uh, then uh, we will see uh, the winning plan is fetch input stage stages ix scan that means index is being used and now if you see further input stage uh, is uh, index scan a number of uh, documents returned are five and the other thing which you will find out is total keys examined that is five and total documents examined five and returned five that means whatever we are looking out of 25 documents five was required and five has been been looked at and they have been returned it is just 25 documents which we are looking just understand if you have hundreds of thousands of rows in that case it is going to be very beneficial so whether it is enterprise database open source database uh, or in general i'm talking about and uh, whether it is sql or no sql indexes always create uh, uh, magic so you need to create the relevant indexes where it is required and it is always good to use the explain plan to see how the data is being retrieved wherever wherever the index is required if it is created it is going to be really helpful i hope this is going to help and in case you have not got the subscription you just can go ahead and sign up this subscription it is just one time payment uh, subscription for bongo db i hope this is going to help and uh, thank you